What is up YouTube? This is Shroth from Out of Presentations and I'm super excited to announce this new series that I'm launching today and it's going to be called Super Tech Tuesdays. So the purpose of this series is to really help you guys, the fellow presenters, with all your tech related questions. Perhaps you're making a new presentation and you come across a problem that you're not able to solve or perhaps you need to deliver a presentation and you stumble across a problem at the auditorium. No matter what the situation, if it's a presentation related tech query, this is the place to be. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. All your queries and questions, mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to cover them in the future videos of this series. All right, so that said, let's start off with the first video of this series. The topic of this video comes from one of my clients who wishes to know if there is a way for them to create a vertical or a portrait slide in Google Slides. So perhaps you want to add a newsletter to your slide. Perhaps you want to showcase your audience uh, a proposal or an A4 size document onto a slide. How do you do that, right? So that's exactly what I will be teaching you in today's video. So let me hop onto my screen and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay, so now that we are on my computer screen, I've very quickly gone ahead and opened a a Google Slides presentation and I have a beautiful presentation in front of me. If you look at the slides over here, most of them follow a widescreen format. Now, let's just go ahead and very quickly check the format over here. We'll click on file, go to page setup, and you see it shows a widescreen format. Now, a widescreen format is typically where the width of the screen, which is the width of the screen, is higher than the height of the screen. Over here, the format that we've used is a 16 is to 9 format. Now, traditionally, most presentation applications are going to be providing you with a widescreen format. And there's a good reason for that. Simply because most modern day screens, be it a computer screen or a television on which you're going to project your presentation on, or even a projector, follow a widescreen format. So there's a good reason why most presentation applications come with a widescreen format. That said, how do we insert a portrait or a vertical slide in Google Slides? So there are two ways you could do that. The first method is really to change the ratio of the slides for all the slides. And here's how you could do that. You need to go to File, go to Page Setup. From the widescreen format, you can just click on the drop down and click on Custom. Now, if you see over here, this 10 is the width and 5.63 is the height of the slides as of now in inches. As I said, width is higher than the height. To make it portrait or vertical, all you need to do is invert it. So we can make it 5.63 by 10 inches. And what that will do is basically invert or rotate the slides to a 90 degree. And let's just quickly do that and see what happens. As you can see, it creates these vertical format slides in Google Slides. And it does that to all your slides, right? Now, as you can also see that this is a little too thin and too skinny for any purpose. Perhaps you might be comfortable with this kind of a, a, a skinny slide, but if you want to make it a, a proper A4 kind of a layout, then what you probably need to do is uh, go back to page setup and instead of 5.63 by 10, you want to make it 8.5 by 11. And that's, that's the standard format that most A4 size uh, slides would need to follow. As soon as you hit apply, you can see that the, the slides have become slightly more wider and slightly more taller. So as you can see, it creates these vertical slides for format for all the slides. Now I'm just going to go and back and press Ctrl Z to put it back into our original widescreen format. So press Ctrl Z to revert back into our original slide format, which is a widescreen format. Now, we've already seen the first method. The drawback with the first method, it actually makes all the slides in a vertical or a portrait format. But what if you want to insert just one slide in the middle of all these slides in a portrait format? Perhaps you want to showcase a newsletter or perhaps you want to showcase a one page document, even a proposal document, if at all, for your audience to see. How do you do that, right? So there are two simple methods you could do this. And I'm just going to teach you both the methods. The first method is to go to the slide master and insert a new slide and create a new layout. So let's do that first. To do that, we go to view, click on master, 
and through the slides we locate a blank slide here we are if you would notice that this is blank because there's nothing on the slide as opposed to the other slides click on a blank slide and press ctrl d you can also control copy and paste a new slide over here and on this slide we're going to insert a rectangle so you're going to go to insert you're going to go to insert in shapes from shapes you're going to click on rectangle and drag and drop a rectangle which covers the whole slide make sure that it covers the complete slide all right now what we want to do is right click on the shape and go to rotate and rotate clockwise 90 degree what this is going to do is make sure that the the rectangle is now vertical in format and it leaves an even space on the left and the right part of the screen now what you want to also do is click on the shape and make sure that the color fill of this uh, shape is white and the borders is also white so now it has no fill or a border uh, to this rectangle and the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we click on the slide you notice that you've the options over here have changed so you click on background and from the background change the color to a slight gray color and you click on done as you can see what this is going to do is create a vertical kind of a white space for you to now create um, a new layout so i'm going to click over here and rename this to portrait blank layout all right now we can easily close this over here now what we want to do is just click on uh, in the middle of two slides or you could just click on this slide and press enter what this is going to do is add a new slide but don't worry about this layout over here what we want to do is click on layout and locate the blank slide that we've added which is over here so we click on this and there you go you are now going to be able to add a vertical you're going to be able to create a vertical slide so that's method one for you the first method is really useful when you probably want to create multiple such portrait slides for your presentation perhaps you want to create a slide over here and then you want to insert a new slide somewhere over here down down a few slides so instead of redoing everything what you could do is just create a new layout press enter go back to layouts you've already created that layout and it just allows you to add these layouts very quickly so that saves you a lot of time but there are times when you just want to insert a simple uh, document it could be like i said a proposal it could be any of a4 size document that you want to insert into the slides so that an easier way to do that instead of creating a layout is add a new slide to your presentation go to the layout and select a blank slide and just copy and paste i'm just going to drag and drop or copy and paste a uh, a file a one page pdf document onto this slide there you go and i'm just going to drag this document to the edge of the slide so that it fits properly in vertically and i'm just going to make sure that it is center vertically and horizontally center aligned which basically means that it's in the middle of the slide so what this does is also serves a similar purpose you now have a document which is in a portrait mode what you're going to want to know is that it doesn't really matter if you create portrait slides on the left because even if you were to create portrait slides like we did before when you put it in slideshow mode uh, the screen is still going to be a, a white screen that you're going to be using for your presentation so it's really going to display the slides in a, a white screen format even if the portrait mode formats are used so an easier way to use a, a easier fix to that problem is really using the two methods that i've just described over here now you can see how it looks when you go into a, a present mode it's not exactly solving the problem of vertical or portrait slides but it's a definitely a nifty workaround well that's it from my end for this video i really hope that you learned something new in this video and if you did make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel just one request from you guys i put in a lot of effort to make these videos day in and day out to make sure that you guys master the art of presentations you could help me by spreading the word around by sharing this channel and by sharing this video so make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and help me spread the word around and i'll see you in the next video